Hey everybody, this is Frilly Off and welcome to another Minecraft episode on the Alphacraft server. Right, uh, I've been doing a lot of work, uh, as you know, around the, the new mansion and, uh, and I couldn't let it go. Uh, we noticed the other day that the the door isn't in the middle of the mansion and it's, it's really bugged me. Bugged me to the point that I think today I'm going to rip out the door and I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it slightly over to the left as you're looking at it so it's bang in the middle then we'll have three windows on one side we'll have three windows on the other we'll have the door in the middle uh, but it does mean me moving the staircase just there we've got to move it a little bit over we'll have to move it over to here sort of so it'll go up there and then across and then I'll go up the top it's it's uh, it's not a lot of work so I can do that. Uh, but before I start doing that, I want to thank all of you for the comments I've received in the last video. It's been fantastic and I love reading all of them. I really do. Uh, and you've pointed out that the, 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 the structure thing that I've been building around the side, I didn't know what it was called exactly. I didn't know the name of it. Uh, and I need to thank a few people. I need to thank, uh, I need to thank Rick and Soulful Archer and Typeport and Sid among many, many others. Uh, that uh, that it's a veranda. So from now on, I'll refer to it as a veranda. So thank you guys for that. Really do appreciate it. And uh, another couple of comments from from quite a lot of you. A lot of you want to see the glass panes. Um, so that got the biggest vote. So we'll be using glass panes to put the glass in the windows down at the bottom, uh, which is good. I'm good. I'm fine with that. And as for the lighting, underneath here. I've had loads of suggestions off you as well uh, and we're going to try a couple of those out today just to see what they look like uh, because uh, well because I don't know I've not done it yet I thought I'd do it with you and also crazy old man in fact suggested that instead of using stone there I use iron bars uh, because it'll look like chains and I think that looks much better I really do that I genuinely and it makes it look like it hangs down further as well I know it doesn't but it, it just looks, because it's thinner, it looks like it hangs down a little bit further. So I like that a lot. A few of you have suggested that I put a fence post at the top there to, uh, to drop down those torches. I think I'll do that as well, uh, because I like that. So I've got a bit of work to do today. What I've also done while you've not been here, I've started to rip out Smurf's decking. Uh, it doesn't know yet. Shh. Tell him. And what I've done is I've started to put around the uh, the stonework for extending the mansion. I mean, this this is actually quite a lot bigger than I thought it would be when I thought about the idea. Uh, but it's got to be done, I think, because we've got a lot of stuff to cram inside there. So the the mansion itself will come all the way around the back. It'll probably got that level, that level. Mm, not sure whether it'll go up the top. Probably go up the top level as well. Yeah, why not? Maybe I'll stick a third level on it as well. And that means then we can we may well be able to stick the elevator, the uh, the multi the multi floor bubble column elevator that I've been waiting for oh, forever for somewhere to put it um, since I built the two. Well, I didn't even do a proper tutorial on it actually. I just did a, a demonstration of it working back in I don't know one thirteen or something many 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 moons ago. We might be able to get it in here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So what I'm going to do first then is rip out the stone staircase, the cobblestone staircase, and uh, move the doors. What I've also found out, actually, before I start doing that, I think there's only myself and Asgard on at the moment, and I think he's, oh, he might not be AFK anymore, so he might sleep. What I found out the other day, I killed a couple of pillagers over there in the woods, doing what pillagers do in dark woods, and I got the bad omen effect and I've forgotten forgotten that the bad omen effect affects you when you go near a uh, villagers it doesn't have to be a proper village they don't need beds they it, at least I don't think they need beds but uh, well they certainly didn't around here they only need the workstations and and villagers because none of those have got beds otherwise they'd be breeding and everything uh, but I came over and caused a raid and I fought it a little bit ran out of arrows so uh, I just became a, a rather big chicken and I ran upstairs and I stood in here and looked at them out of the window as they were running backwards and forwards doing what they do. And eventually 
the raid just disappeared. I didn't complete it. It just, the, the bar at the top, the, the boss bar at the top suddenly disappeared and the raid was over. It did take a while, but I didn't have to to go all the way through killing the Ravagers and Ravager Beasts and Evokers and Vindicators and all that. I, I just, I didn't have to do it. So that's a, a note for future self, really. If I get a, another raid around here, just sit around doing nothing for a little while and eventually it'll go away. So uh, anywho... I'll crack on doing this, and then we'll see. I don't know whether to redesign it, actually. I mean, there's not a great deal you can do to redesign a stone set of steps. Mm, I'll have a think about it when I rip it down. But I'll rip it down, move it over, uh, and then we'll look at ripping out the doors and moving the windows and stuff. Back in a minute. So I've been quite busy over the last day or so, and I've done quite a bit of work on the front. Uh, we've moved the stairs. Let me show you the stairs. Move the door into the middle. And now the stairs have been moved over. I need a bit of light in there, don't I? Stairs have been moved over to the, the left. So you go up here now, up here, and then you're up at the top. Uh, the only downside, tiny little, little downside being, uh, you can no longer see all of the glass. When the stairs were in the middle, you could see all of the glass at the top, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I've been reading your comments again. Thank you. I really do appreciate all of your comments. We've had a few more since... The, uh, since I've recorded the, the first segment of the video and uh, most of you seem to like the glass all the way down to the floor so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, we've had some more comments in for the, the panes rather than the glass so again thank you for that also over the last day or so I've, uh, I've been doing a little bit of work on here with Smurfer Smurf's been on here on a stream and he's ripped out all of the decking around the back all the birch decking that was around the back and we've put in some more of the roof we put in the uh, a, little, a few more windows smurfs ripped out this entire side wall put windows in it we've put the uh the, the roof over the veranda gola or whatever it's called the veranda and I, I don't know whether he's done it on the other side as well but it's done a fair bit of work no he hasn't but uh, but that's the plan it's the plan to rip all all that out down there. Now, I want to look at the, the lighting. Actually, did you see the guys up on the roof? I'm sure you did. Up on the roof. On the roof. The only place for mobs. Up there are a load of indicators. Now, normally I'd run up there and give them a thrashing. But I'm a little bit scared to because if I go up there and give them a thrashing, then I'll get the bad omen effect and because I've got villagers in here I'll start a raid I'll trigger a raid and I don't want to do that so you guys don't know how lucky you are yes you so we're going to leave them leave them to it uh, I did, did I mention earlier I think I mentioned earlier as well we're putting pressure plates on the tops of the veranda now rather than carpet because that will stop mobs and it doesn't look too bad either so let me grab a little bit of lighting if i can find any of it right so i thought i'd pop down to a little dark area and we can look at different types of, of lighting hidden lighting and the first one that's been suggested is is composters now as a rule I wouldn't have thought about using a composter because composters could interfere with the villagers. But as long as the villager up there can't path to this and there's already been given a workstation up there, we should be OK with this and with cauldrons as well. It's the same with the cauldrons it is with the composter. So if I just whip out this block there, lob some glowstone underneath it. Like that, put a composter on top of it. That is hidden and it gives off light. It's, I can't deny that. That's fantastic. Now, I think this has been done before by Dreamer. I think. So, uh, I'll, I'll check it out and, and obviously give her some credit. If I... To my word. That looks... Actually, that looks really good. I do like that. That would look... That might look even better if we can throw something in there to fill it up. If only we've got loads of potatoes. Let's go and see how that looks. Look at this. Full. Full. I tell you. Uh, 
I don't need them. They're doing really well upstairs, those guys. Oh, I was a bit worried about them. Potatoes will go in compost. Oh, did you see him over there? I've only been gone for a second. Don't have my sword in my hot bar. Only going to end in tears. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Right. Oh. That, I love that. Dreamer, that is brilliant. I like that a lot. I do like that. That's a winner. Uh, we probably are going to use something like that. That's fantastic. How many times can I say that? Waxing lyrical about composters. Why can't I've got no room again? It's the most rubbish. Let's throw some stuff in. It's the most rubbish. He won't mind if I throw some nice stuff in there, I guess. Oh, I know and I want those. Don't throw those away. Superb. The next one was the cauldron, but I'm not convinced about the cauldron because you can see the glowstone underneath it. So a few of you have suggested putting a piston under there. Now in the past, prior to the 1.14 update, you could put a piston underneath there with, a, with lighting underneath the piston and the piston would allow light through it. You can't do that anymore, which is a, which is a bit of a pain. Because it means I can't do I can't do this. Well, I, I, shall I show you? There's no point showing you because I can't do it. But pistons will allow light through if they're extended sideways. So if I go around here and put a piston down like that, power it underneath. like that, and then put a light underneath that. It does mean that the light source is a few more blocks further away. But when I cover that over again, and bearing in mind the wall is going to go here, we'll be having some kind of, you know, the wall running down the side of the mansion there. But that looks okay, doesn't it? And with that, uh, we, if we have some foliage on top of that, some leaves, on top of that, that looks okay. I like that. That works. I, I do like that. The uh, the other uh, suggestion that you guys gave me, you've been full of fantastic suggestions, is to put a trap door underneath here. So let me grab a dark oak trap door. Like that. Uh, is to do that. Now, I I don't know. I don't know whether I like that one. If they did a grey trap door, that would be fantastic. But I don't know whether I like that one. Hmm. I think we're going to go with the composters and the cauldrons alternating. I think that's going to look pretty cool. So hopefully you guys agree and uh, we'll do that. Also... One of the fantastic suggestions, which we're going to try now, is replacing the grass block here with Podzol. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll, we'll give that a go. And to make Podzol, if you don't know where to find any, you find them in spruce forests and places like that. If you don't know where there is a spruce forest, grab yourself some spruce. So if you put four spruce saplings in, uh, in like a square on the floor, and then you bone mill those, I don't know whether that... I think that's going to be out of the way. If I bone meal that, oh, I've got bone meal in my offhand. That's why I can't find it. If I bone meal those, it'll go into a massive spruce tree, but the grass around the bottom of it is going to turn into podzol. Like that. Which is fantastic. So now I can mine it with my silk touch pick. Pick it up when you've got room in your inventory. Everybody's happy. Isn't that fantastic? 
So I've got a bit of spruce wood. And I've got a bit of pods up. If I put some grass down there now, uh, sorry, some normal dirt down there now, it might even grow back into Podzel. It's a race between the dirt and the... Look at that, it's doing it again. Have I told you how much I hate that? Anyway, I digress. Literally, this is ridiculous. So what do we think of that? I, I, um, I don't know. Um, hmm, making silly little noises now, aren't I? Hmm, hmm, let me throw some rubbish in a... Rubbish chest, so we can have a look at, at some flowers. Let's grab a couple of flowers. So that's what it looks like with a couple of uh, couple of poppies in it. I, I like it. I do like it. However, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Do you prefer the? Do you prefer the uh, the green, the grass? Or do you prefer the podzel? Yeah, very good. Right, while you're thinking about that, I am going to stick in the rest of the lighting. Now, as I mentioned, lots of you have, have mentioned this a few more since I started the episode, actually. So I, we are going to be using uh, using the metal bars down there. I think that looks it's going to look superb. Um, but anyway, I'll whip these out. I'll stick some pistons underneath the cauldrons. I'll stick some composters in alternatively. And then I'll try and decide whether I want... Oh, no, I could put one at the end, can't I? Could I have one at the end? Maybe one at the end. Yeah, I will. No, I won't. No, I won't. No, we'll have something else at the end. If we do... Uh, Composter with a tree in it, cauldron, and then composter with a tree in it. I think I like the trees. Dreamer, I like the trees. Uh, we'll have those at the entrance. And yeah, I'll do that. Uh, and instead of talking about it, I'll go and do it. Brilliant. So there it is. I think that looks fantastic. I've done a bit of checking. Everything is above level, light level 8 or is light level 8 or above. Oh. Oh. Everything but that block is at light level 8 or above. Oh, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? It's you, isn't it? It's this guy because the light is one block lower. It's one block further down. I might have to come up with another plant for that. Is that the same by the other cauldron? Yeah. It is. Oh, it's because it's one block lower. The light block is one block lower. Don't want to drop these down by another block. Don't want to drop those down by another block. Might have to have rethink. Might have to have a little bit of a rethink as to what lighting we put there. Unless I put uh, another composter there. If I put another composter there with some, with some leaves on top of it, then that would fix it because all around here is light level 8 or above. Mm, I'll have a think about that. Anywho, I'm going to wait for it to get dark and then I'm going to show you what it looks like in the dark because I think it's looking absolutely amazing. Oh, I nearly got me then on the stone cutter. So this is what it looks like in the dark. I think it looks fantastic. Now, as I mentioned, we are going to have to change these cauldrons for composters, I think, or, or do something a little bit more creative with the lighting because there are a couple of dark spots in here where, where mobs can spawn and obviously we don't want that but I think in the dark it looks absolutely amazing uh, and I'm really really pleased with the way it's turned out so you'll have to let me know what you think
So I've done a little bit more work uh, over the last couple of days. Today is Friday as I'm recording, but Smurphy has done loads of work around here. He does it on his streams. If you don't catch or if you haven't caught any of his streams so far, you really need to go and check him out. He's fantastic. He streams Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and at the weekends as well. I'll, I don't know the exact times, but I'll put a link to his mixer in the description below. Go and check him out. Uh, stop in, say hello. I'm sure he would appreciate your company. But he's done loads of work. Uh, while he's been streaming, put all the uh, done all the hard grafting, uh, and uh, he's put all the windows in the other side. He started doing all the decorating. We, uh, we I think we're going to go with the uh, the clear panes of glass. I think we decided that earlier on in the episode. I've also started putting in all of these iron bars around the side. For the lanterns to hang on, that looks uh, that looks amazing. Thank you for that, everybody that's contributed to the to the debate so far. So I'll just stick a few of these on here. I don't have many left. I've got to go back to the Iron Alpha to pick up some more iron. But I'll do that off camera. It's not easy, you know, looking at these little things and sticking things on the end of them. There you go. Done it. So this side's complete. We've currently got grass in there. But depending on what you guys say in the comments, it's either going to be grass. Remember, it's going to be grass or it's going to be podzol or it's going to be a mixture of both or it's going to be something else. If you decide it's going to be something else, I like I like them both. If I'm being honest, I don't have a I don't have a preference. Uh, so I like them both. We've also fixed the lighting issue. And uh, remember, the lighting issue caused me a problem on these blocks here. I think it was these, these two blocks here, that one there. No, this one, this one here. This one here. Uh, because the lighting was a little bit too far down under the floor and, uh, and it wasn't lighting up the block or getting it above light level seven, which is what we need to stop mob spawn. And I don't want to drop those down anymore. I didn't want to put any more lighting on this. So what I did was I just, I moved the lighting block from under the bottom. Remember it was, it was all the way down there, one block lower. I've moved it up and I've put it in the wall, which is fine as long as we've got a support beam in here, as long as we've got that block there. If we start moving those inside, it's going to look a bit odd having a bit of glow stuff. Oh, my word. Block placement frills. What are you like? Rubbish. Say that again. Oh, I should just give up. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Right, so that fixes it. Uh, and that makes me happy. And you can't you can't see the lighting. The, well, you can if you stand here and squint and crouch and look straight at it. But just running by, that looks great. And I'm happy with that. I love the composters, love the cauldrons, love the lighting. I love the, I did, I'm so pleased with how this has turned out so far. I really am. And I've also, I answered a question or I found the answer to a question that I posed myself uh, either earlier on in this episode or in the last episode. When I was looking for, for, for ink, I was looking for black uh, squid dye. And I made the point that squid don't spawn in here. And you probably know why that is and I, I didn't think of it at the time but squid don't just spawn in water they have to be in a specific biome and this biome down there is dark oak forest even though it's water it's still a dark oak forest biome and squid won't spawn in a dark oak forest biome so that's why squid don't spawn down there and that's why I had to go all the way over there to a river biome uh, for them to start spawning so uh, I, I answered my own question, even though I probably didn't know the answer if I'd have thought about it. But hey ho. So I think it's about time that uh, I called it a day for today, everybody. This uh, this episode has been a little bit shorter than usual. There have been a lot of jump cuts and I have done a lot of work off camera. And for that, I do apologise a little bit. But I've... Well, I've done it. So I've apologised, but I still did it. So sorry about that. However... Very, oh, I need to cut down this tree before I go. Go and have this tree sat there, can I? I can show you me cutting down a tree. How's about that? 
bit of a compromise. I'll show you me cutting down a spruce tree. Woohoo! Working. So while I'm doing this, don't forget to go and check out all of the other alphas. Don't a lot of the guys stream. Uh, I know Biz does, uh, C Love does, uh, Dibs does, uh, Smurfy does, obviously, uh, Steena Rose does, loads of them do. If I've missed you, Alpha, sorry, I apologise profusely. But go and check out them either on YouTube or on Mixer or on Twitch. Uh, they're well worth a watch. If you've got nothing to do one afternoon, then they're well worth a watch. Oh my word, this is much bigger than I thought. And don't forget to go and check out the Alpha Craft Fans Discord page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Bunny and the gang over there doing a fantastic job. Uh, it's loads of fun. There's something always going off and it is a really good laugh over there. So go and check that out. Uh, also, don't forget the Alpha Craft website where there are a few bits and pieces on there. And don't forget to like this video if you did like it and subscribe for future videos if you really, really loved it. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. This is Frilly Off. And I'm out of here.